turn count win versus Rex, as I said, to start this episode. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna... Oh, uh, I just realized I forgot something. <laughs> forgot to put on my Seto Kaiba jacket. <laughs> I can't hear on promoted. Starboy promoted. All right. Yeah, I actually didn't get out Maiden of the Aqua in that one, but, uh, yeah, and I actually had to go pretty deep in my deck, too, so, anyway. Uh, I guess we'll try to win Mammoth Graveyard, I guess. Uh, oh, missed it. Red Medicine. Okay. That is low deck cost, so that kind of helps us. Oh, Wasteland. Well, uh, that can go in our zombie deck, actually, so that's not too bad, yeah. Not too bad. Plus, red medicine's low cost. Good. Okay, so let's actually. Oh, well, no, just to start, let's go into a duel real quick. Let's go for Darkness Ruler here with the Maiden of the Aqua deck. Okay. So this guy's got some pretty good uh, spells and traps we want to try to win, so there we go. Okay, and then after that, I'll probably go into the zombie deck. And uh, I think that's our third wasteland, so that's good. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got here. A pretty good start. Uh, so I can fuse Metal Greymon or go for some seed. You know what? Let's just put something powerful out here. Uh, Metal Greymon. Again, not the most powerful thing we can make in our deck, but uh, really, I just want to see if I can uh, prompt him to summon some monsters. Let's see. Okay, so I'll move this forward. I'll probably summon myself. Oh, no. I was thinking I would summon Maiden of the Aqua. Don't have the stars for it, but uh, let's just play this here. I'm actually not going to move it because it'll stay within range of our deck leader. Plus, the tile that uh, Cyber Source is on won't become water so, and weaken them. You know, so. I think that's good. Monster? Yes. Okay. Metal Guardian. Wow, we actually beat it. Well, I guess that was a good decision overall. Hmm. Uh, one thing you may be able to notice here, though, is that this is a five-star monster, which just means he definitely had to play something, you know, either he played it. Whoa. Oh, that honestly looks pretty cool. The, the whole cloaking thing? Not bad, Metal Guardian. Taste my mighty Gatling gun. Not bad. But, uh, yeah, something you may notice is this card is five stars. So, oh man, we split it apart. Nice. Good job, Metal Grey Mine. <laughs> That's pretty epic. Uh, but yeah, it's five stars, meaning he, like, either had to play a two star monster on his first turn, or more likely, this is a spell or trap card. So, uh, let's go here. As a matter of fact, I'm so certain it's a trap. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move uh, Power of Kaishin on top of it. Yeah, it is a trap. Okay. Yeah, and that's like one of the things you can do to, uh, you know, sort of cheese this guy. Just do that. And then, you know, move your card that can power up right on top of it. So there you go. And we'll chase him down with Metal Greymon. Okay, uh, your turn. I'm sure he'll defeat, you know, Cybersaurus or something, but uh, it's fine. Uh, okay, just defending. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Um, that's a good trap card. Um, let's just... I could do to be tricky is I could actually flip this up and then yeah, let's try it. I doubt this will work, but yeah, let's flip up Furious Seeking right here actually. Okay, that creates water here, meaning I could try to direct attack him this turn with this Furious Seeking. Um, yeah, sure, sure, we'll try it, we'll try it. Okay, okay, Acid Trap Hole. That's honestly almost like best case scenario, because then, yeah, completely clears it out. But uh, I don't think we've seen him play that. Probably one of his best trap cards. Uh, well, I'd say Gorgon's Eye is best, but check this out. Only 30 yet cost. Disposable Trap that triggers against the monster with attack of 4,000 or below and destroys it. So, uh, yeah, that can basically snare, you know, most of your monsters. So, watch out for that. Um, let's step right here. So, we kind of got him cut off with Furious Seeking. And, um, yeah, 
Uh, one thing I didn't think I mentioned is if he can get here to the forest terrain, yeah, his fiends are actually powered down on forest. Um, but he'll probably go on to the dark square first. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the, but yeah, if you can manage to uh, chase him into, you know, this corner with the forest, that's definitely your best bet because, uh, yeah, it'll definitely weaken, you know, his monster. So it's probably the best strategy against this guy. You know, other than forcing him to play his traps and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, Metal Greymon. Sorry, you did great, though. You beat, like, his Metal Guardian. Um, yeah, avoided his traps. You did good, buddy. You did good. Proud of you. All right. Yeah, he didn't even fuse for this one. He just straight up... Oh, oh. Nice, nice. He just straight up brought out this Ryu Cushion power, so... Yep, be aware of that. And it's got, wow, 2600 with this leader ability. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's see what we can do about that. If I get uh, Kairiushin, we can actually defeat that monster. Um, nope, but um, this is just as good, honestly. Uh, let's just throw Maiden of the Aqua in defense. And let's hope he's dumb enough to attack it, honestly. Um... Just thinking about the leader abilities right now. Yeah, honestly, if we move up right here, and I move myself up my leader, it kind of protects the Furious Sea King, so he can't attack that with Kai uh, Ryukush empowered, so nothing too much to worry about. We'll end our turn. Okay, power increase, okay. We're both kind of using our leader abilities here. Huh. Interesting choice for him to move right there because, okay, we know this isn't a trap because he just used Queen Castle, so his light points are wide open. Um, wow, that is, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh man, uh, what a weird duel. Um, huh, I think what I'll do here is I will, man, like I can, I can direct attack him twice. Um, alternatively, damn, we, we almost have this guy, like, I mean, I could even get a direct attack on my deck leader, which, I mean, man, can I win this turn? I think I can, because, let's just flip this up. Okay, let's see how close we can get him. Okay, so that's 18. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. And then let's see how much damage we can do with Maiden of the Aqua, especially if I move forward. Um, because right now we could do 16. Ooh, he's gonna have 50 life points left. That's crazy. If I attack with Maiden of the Aqua. Alternatively, I think these two fuse, right? Let's try this first. Yeah, we just win. We just straight up won. Okay, so that's how easy this guy can be. He was really, really bad there with his movement. And uh, yeah, let us just straight up direct attack him twice. Wow. <laughs> like, dude, there may not even be hardly anything in the graveyard. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> we'll take it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that, was a, that was a quick one. That was an easy one. I guess we'll try with Fiend Castle. Or Tears of the Mermaid, yeah. Okay, we got tiers. Let's try for three tiers. Oh man, it's tier elements, guys. Watch out. It's, the, it's tier zero. <laughs> oh, we missed it. Okay, well, I guess we'll try for... And if you see the art of Fiend Castle up there, it actually... That's what the art for Toon World in this game. But in this game, that is obviously not. It is a different card altogether, so pretty interesting. Uh... Oh, and we got it, so I can show you guys. Yeah, Fiend Castle. Yeah, so don't be fooled, I guess, if you're running a, uh, a tune deck. You know, don't uh, don't think this is your field card, because it is not. But, uh, yeah, pretty interesting to see that. As a matter of fact, let's just show you guys that real quick. Yeah. I think I do have a couple fiends on the other deck as well, but yeah, check it out, yeah. <laughs> this is this is Fiend Castle, guys, yeah. Yeah. Increase the power of fiends by 500. But yeah, this is uh, normally the art for uh, Toon World, so pretty strange seeing this only power up fiends and nothing else. But uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, in this deck, do I have another infinite dismissal? 
I did just get another Tears of the Mermaid. I do. You know what? I think I'll swap these two out. Yeah, because like I said, Infinite Dismissal, eh, kind of useful. Stalls for three turns, but I think something that decreases um, uh, attack overall is better. So, now is this the Pumpkin deck? It looks like it is. Yeah, because we got the Wastelands. Okay. Also got another Red Medicine in case I need to do some low deck cost stuff. Uh, let's take a look here. Maybe I'll take out Dismissal for Wasteland. That honestly seems good. Let's just do that real quick. Um, yeah, okay. And then we'll... Uh, I think we need, like, one more duel for reincarnation, I think. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot what time I started this, too. Well, it's, like, 5.35 right now. We'll just go to 5.55 just to be on the safe side. Uh, so I'll save here. Okay, and we're at Major with this deck, so it can see the Rex or Weevil. Let's take on... Uh, let's take on Weevil, actually. There we go. Okay. Alright, we haven't faced, like, Bandit Keith in a while, so... Uh, next episode, we'll probably do that. We'll probably face him a couple times. Shabby, honestly. Um, let's just start with. Let's dump this card and summon this. Yeah. I like that. And we'll get the castle going right away. And in the turn. What you got, Weevil? Okay. Oh. And normally he moves it right toward us, so. Maybe this is a trap card? I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go. Ooh, good combo. Wow, so we drew we drew this along with Toon Summon Skull. Now, as I said, yeah, fiends are yeah, powered down here in the forest. So you may want to go for that if um, you're having a tough time against uh, 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 Darkness Ruler. So there you go. And I'm just going to set this as kind of bait. You know, if he moves two squares into it, that's fine, you know. Alright. Right. So there's that. Um, honestly, and he didn't power this up, I think Toon Summon Skull will be enough. So, oh! Well, actually, alternatively, I can show you guys a cool new fusion in this deck. So, Mammoth plus Zombie will equal a pretty cool fusion. Yeah, check this out. Great Mammoth of Gold Fine. Yeah, who is a zombie with 2200. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, let's show this battle. Uh, Quagar Hercules. Nice. So yeah, that's a pretty... That's why Mammoth Graveyard's pretty good in a zombie deck. Uh, and then it'll work with basically any zombie. You know, as long as it's below 2200, which is most zombies in this game. So, good. Alright, it's the Mastodon Megazord from Power Rangers. Mastodon! Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. I might miss one there, by the way. Did I miss Pterodactyl? Ah. <laughs> Alright. There we go. And let's see if we can activate this trap card. Ah! Infinite Dismissal. I recognize you. There we go. And now our Mammoth will be unaffected. I end my turn. What you got next, Weevil? Ah, defending, huh? Or moving out of my way, huh? That's fine. Uh, ooh, Wasteland. That's a pretty good draw right here, honestly. Because we can attack him directly if I want. Um, but I think I'll attack his monster instead. We could also make Queen of Leaves. Um, change of plans instead of the Wasteland. Let's make Queen of Leaves, actually. Yeah. That sounds good. Fusion. There we go. Alright, Queen of Leaves, attack. Nightmare Scorpion. Ah, uh, you got me, Weevil. You got me with that one, partner, I must admit. Well done. But I'll move toward your leader. You'll move toward me, you know, so. All's fair? All's fair? Alright. I 
nicely done. Okay, defending, good. Okay, what I think I'll do is I'm actually willing to take the hit from, oh, we got it guys, we got it. Yeah, battle warrior, he battles with his bare hands. But I think I'm willing to take the hit um, and just play the Wasteland card. Mainly to make sure nothing, you know, crazy happens to Great Mammoth here, so. Yep. We'll just play Wasteland. There we go. Alright. And yeah, with 3,000, we should be good. Um, you know what? I guess I could move back and attack this, but I think I'll have, uh, <laughs> honestly, uh, some of these cards are in here just so I can see their attacks. And I kind of want to see how Battle Warrior attacks. I know we'll lose life points, but I kind of want to see, you know, what animation it looks like in this game. You know, one of Joey's signature cards, so we'll just do that. Attack this guy directly in the meantime. Yeah. Especially if, like, he just stays here in the corner, or if he, like, runs over this. Like, yeah, I think I'll just go with, uh... I mean, I could even move out of the way of Nightmare Scorpion, actually. So, yeah, I can move, like, right here, and then he can attack me. Yeah, so... Yeah, let's do that. And next turn, if it looks like we've got this wrapped up, I'll definitely just show Battle Warrior's attack, just to... Just, just so we can take a look, you know. Signature Joey card. Yeah, and it looks like we do, because we can move two squares here. So let's just, um, just to see. Let's have Battle Warrior attack this card, because I want to see how you attack Battle Warrior. Does he indeed fight with his bare hands? Nah. Well, we're about to find out. You know, sorry that I'm making you lose Battle Warrior, but, you know, you're a signature Joey card. I just want to see... I want to see your animation in this game. Because <laughs> I like it in Forbidden Memories. Let's see what he does. Oh! Oh! Not bad, honestly. Power Knuckle. Nice. It looked pretty cool there, how he powered up. He's just like, huh! You know. <laughs> Not bad, Battle Warrior. Not bad. But we see he does indeed fight with his bare hands. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, guys, we'll go with Great Mammoth and we'll attempt to end the duel. Let's see, right here. Very good, very good. Okay, so Weevil and uh, Darkness Roller really didn't give us too much trouble today. All right, you win. There we go. Okay, and I guess we can go for about 13 more minutes. You know, assuming I'm right. I could be wrong. All right, three in a row. Let's see. Okay, we'll try it for one anyway. Okay, I guess Kumotoko it is. Uh, let's see. Oh, I missed the nick time. Well, uh, Quaker, I guess. Oh, I missed that too. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Man, we haven't hit a three in a row in a while. I've been doing kind of bad, though, on those, but that's that's my bad, guys. I remember one recording session, we, we were on fire with the three in a rows, though. Okay, well, actually, um, looks like we have a reincarnation available. And, uh, you know, there's no guarantee I'll get a, a card that I kind of want, so I guess for the rest of the episode, we'll just try to reincarnate a couple times and see if we get uh, something I'm willing to keep. So, Kimo Toko, right around 21. You know what? Let's reincarnate that, actually. Let's see what we get here. Uh, is that a uh, hard armor? <coughs> yeah, it is. Uh, what is that? Oh, enchant. Ooh, is that a fish? We might honestly save this one. Ooh, and a plant. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good effect monster. So, yeah, she's a fish, which can uh, fuse with some of our dragons to make uh, Kairushin, as I'm sure you guys know. Uh, how many fish do I have, by the way? Let's go to type sort. Um, I think I just, yeah, yeah, I just have just white dolphin. Okay, so I think we'll keep Enchanting Mermaid. Um, but yeah, this card actually has a pretty good effect. Check this out. Yeah, Laughing Flower. Control of opposing card is gained when this card is flipped face up in battle. Pretty good effect. It's like, um, it's like a walking change of heart. Well, I guess unless you don't attack a monster, you know, if you happen to run over a spell or a trap, I guess it wouldn't work, but pretty good effect, honestly. So, yeah, 
Alright, so I guess we'll swap out some stuff. Uh, can I swap out a Tomazoras for this? Uh, for Enchanting Mermaid? Yes, I think that's still under Necromancer, so that's good. And for the flower, um... Yeah, really good in any deck. This card's good in just about any deck. Um, I will put it in the zombie deck, though. Uh, so let's take out... Let's see, maybe I should take out the cocoon combo altogether. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. So we'll take those out. Uh, I have some thieves in here, right? Uh, Tune summon skulls in here? Yes. Okay, so we'll add Fiend Castle, and we'll add, um... Huh. Actually, I can mess around with this deck a little more, because don't I have, uh... Don't I have Job Change Bear and stuff? Let's see. Let's go to Type Sword. Uh... Fiends. Fiends, Fiends, Fiends. Yeah, yeah, I have King of Makai and two Job Change Bear. Okay. Um... Yeah, we can, we can throw a few fiends in here. Zola as well, huh? Um, Soul Hunter, yeah. Treasure Chest, okay. So I can throw in about, let's see, the Treasure Chest and the two job change in King of Makai. Okay, so that's like four cards. Um, let's look at the power-ups I have in this deck. Uh, okay. Let's take out... Let's take out... I think I'll take out, like, the beast stuff, yeah, so let's take out... No, we'll leave the female in case we want to fuse it to Queen of Leaves. But let's take out... Yeah, this stuff, like Wolf. Um, let's take out... Well, we've seen his attack, so maybe I'll take out Battle Warrior. No, he can fuse in the Zombie Warrior. He's fine. Maybe we take out, yeah, King Tiger. I love his effect, but, um, yeah, not too necessary in this deck. Um, what else? Um, maybe I'll take out a Pumpkin. No, we'll leave him in. Uh, Job Change and Treasure Chest can come in. And then, what else? One more job change? Yeah, one more job change, and maybe Makai? Yami. Yami Makai, I mean. Um, hmm. I think a dark field would be a lot better for this deck, for sure, because, um, yeah, in this deck, like, fiends benefit off of dark, and zombies do too, so, yeah, ultimately, I'll want to switch these wastelands for Yami. Um, if we can get uh, Darkness Ruler to play it, that is. Um, so, I guess I can take out... Hmm. Maybe Hurricane? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hurricane, goodbye. Hello, Job Change Mirror. And then, maybe I'll throw in the King of Yami Makai. That way we can use Kamehameha ourselves. Um, and I don't have any other cheaper fiend like um, Treasure Chest, so yeah, I think Yummy Makai is the pick. So, what's his deck cost? 36? And Weevil's is pretty low, so. Um, yeah, well, Battle Warrior's kind of high, honestly. Okay, Battle Warrior, we've seen your attack. I appreciate you, but we're taking you out. Okay. And that'll work. And I'll just switch back to the main deck. There we go. Okay. And, all right. And it looks like we're at like 5.48. Okay. And I'm not really sure what exact time I started this episode at, but uh, I think I'm just going to save here and call it good, uh, everyone. All right. So thanks, guys, for joining me in this recording session. Uh, yeah, some pretty good progress as far as, like, some pretty good cards. Like, Time Wizard, that's that's pretty good. And that life, Laughing Flower is pretty good as well. Um, but, yeah, next time, yeah, I think I'll duel, you know, Ban and Keith a little more. We haven't really dueled him that much and uh, lately. And, uh, yeah, and then we'll just, you know. Yeah, and like I said, this, is, this feels good at this point in the game. Because normally, in order to duel against Pegasus, normally I would do, you know... Maybe not this level of grinding, like 150, 15 rules worth, but I definitely would, um, 
you know, power up my deck with, um, you know, every duelist besides him for sure. I, that is definitely what I do in my normal playthrough. So feels good that we can face uh, five people right now. But uh, yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, until next time. This has been Floodmon14 uh, for the Duelist of the Roses ranking challenge. All right. And I'll see you guys all next time. All right. Till then, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a good day.